guys so I'm back with a new video and since I haven't done like a proper makeup video like a tutorial in a while I thought I should bring you one so that's what today's video is and the makeup that I chose was a Lily Collins makeup I really like this makeup I think it's uh, pretty different it's this one I'm going to here and yeah I really like this makeup I like pretty dramatic and different uh, like makeup looks so I thought I should do this one and I'm just going to ramble while I do my makeup and I hope you like this kind of video so let's start as you may probably tell, my skin is in a horrendous state, but let's just put that aside. And yeah, I'm going to start with foundation. And the foundation I'm going to use the Maybelline Affini Matte Foundation. Mine is in the shade 03 Light Sand Beige. I chose this one because it's the lightest shade that I have. And since Lily Collins is pretty pale, I mean, I'm pale too, but yeah, I chose the lightest foundation that I have, which it's actually good, it's not my favorite, but it's fine. And I'm going to use it with my uh, Beauty Blender dupe from Primark. We're going to we are going to use quite a bit because we want like full coverage. This foundation isn't really that doesn't have a really high coverage, but I think we can build it. You might think odd the way I do my makeup, but yeah, I'm no makeup artist. I just do what works for me. And what I learn in other makeup tutorials. As you can see, it's pretty pale. And it's not that high coverage, so we are going to use a little more. So just going to put a little bit more here. And, and yeah, that's it for foundation. Okay, so now that foundation is done, we're going to powder. And I'm going to use again another Maybelline uh, product, uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Compact Powder in the shade 130. 130 buff page and this foundation is already uh, matte like with a matte finish but my skin is really oily so I always need to put some powder even if it's just a little bit also her makeup seems pretty like matte in the picture so I'm going for a pretty matte finish now on to contour because she has like pretty deep cheekbones so I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil uh, matte bronzer in medium deep uh, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques contour brush. Mm -hmm. 
Now for blush, she does have like really pink cheeks, so I'm going to use this blush by Mimi Me Blush Me in the shade Rouge, which is this like really hot pink, and I'm going to use with my Essence brush. I'm going to use this Oriflame, Oriflame, I don't know how you pronounce it, eyebrow kit. This and it comes with these two brushes. First, I'm going to use the powder and I'm going to use this darker one because the other one is too light for me. And I'm going to do like pretty heavy brows because Lily Collins does have like massive eyebrows and now we're going for the wax which is like the down one and yeah just to make the eyebrow in place and also just to fade it a, bit, a little bit to make it more natural and now on to the fun part which is the eyes first I'm going to start with primer I'm going to use this Essence one I love stage eyeshadow, eyeshadow base I think it's just this color I think they don't have any other I'm going to put a little bit on the eyelids and a bit goes a long way I'm going to apply it with my ring finger so for the eyes I'm only going to use this uh, palette which is a high heart makeup palette the makeup geek one because these have like all the shades that I'm going to need I mean these have some pretty cool shades let me try and show you I hope I don't blind you yeah they have all the shades which is pretty amazing and I picked it and yeah we are going to use this one here then we are going to use this one here for the crease and then like for the main one we are going to use this green which is like amazing and then to finish it we are going to use this just to like smoke a little bit in the like in the creeds and the outer V you are also going to use a little bit in the lower lash line so let's start with the first color that with the first color that I told you which is this one here and I'm going to use my base shadow brush from Real Techniques and this is just to start off like in all the eyelids then with this brush from H&M I'm going to use uh, this one that I took just to put a little bit on the crease this brown match it just to blend it well and now for the star of this look which is this amazing green I hope you can see it. this green right here so damn beautiful And I'm going to play with this uh, brush that came in the kit that I bought at the supermarket. I don't know, it 
is just amazing for this type of eyeshadows and we are going to pat it because these have some glitter and we don't want to like lose it so the camera actually stopped recording and uh, but yeah, all I did was use the dark this dark brown like here with this brush and just blend it and I also put a little bit in the lower lash line and that was it basically so yeah sorry guys but this is how it should look the dark brown here and a little bit in the lower lash line and I also applied a little bit more of green just because the color fades a little bit and now on to uh, lashes I'm going to curl them first and now I'm going to apply mascara and I'm going to use the Maybelline less sensational mascara because I think this is the one that gives like great length and also separates all the lashes also in the lower lashes and now for lipstick I'm going to use this in one in the shade 26 tango which is this bright red with a little bit of an orange and yeah guys this is the finished look really like beautiful I love it I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and I'll see you in my next video bye